Hello YouTube, welcome to the Cosmic Video Channel, this is Nick, and today I have another part of the Heavens of Sorcery video series. Um, not gonna waste any time, let's get right into it. Charging with heat. You've got an excess of chili powder, if you've got an excess of chili powder, the powder building up, and don't want to use it all in one really spicy sandwich, throw it in, t in a fire. The residual mag magics of this place will cause it to transform, imbuing it with a particular charge, making this new redstone powder useful for anything remotely mechanical. So literally just throw it into a fire. I swear. It better be what you have to do. Okay. I'll just throw one because I only need... No, I need ten. Oh, okay. There we are. Okay. I'm really interested in seeing what happens when you complete all these. The floor is lava. With chili powder at your disposal, you can start producing other sim... Okay. Was I not supposed to use all of that? Oh yeah, no, it gave you 10 redstone. Never mind. <laughs> I thought it said you needed 10 redstone. I know, I have more stuff to look at. I was just looking at this one. First. Combining the powder with a, with liquid mana in a boiling cauldron transforms it into lava. Okay, so we need to either use this up. This is just water, so we can just break this one. Okay. Oh, it's raining. Okay, combining chili powder. Ow, ow, don't go in there, it's hot. That's not what you were supposed to do. Oh, my fire went out. Is it because of the rain? I just totally missed that. Hold up. I need two chili powder. Shoot. How do you make chili powder again? I literally just this. It was throwing these into the grinder. But how did you get these? Oh, shoot. Now we need to grow them. And I don't have... I don't know how to... Wait, okay. I'm thinking maybe you just plant it. You know what I mean? Like you literally just plant it. Hmm. Very confused. Maybe I have to like hang it. Hmm. Maybe this goes like on top. <gasps> Aha! Genius right here. Okay, don't I have bones? I do. Can I turn these in the bone though? Ah, you're beautiful. Okay. One chili pepper. That should be enough, I think, for right now. Okay, grind that up, please. Thank you. Light my cauldron on fire again. And two chili. Two chili. Really? Two chili powder. In a boiling cauldron. I'm pretty sure that's what it said. In a boiling cauldron. Oh, liquid mana, not water. Okay, never mind. I'm just being dumb. Oh, wait, but it's mana and what else? 
It was these things. There we are. Okay, now I need to get a bucket of it. Wait, what was I supposed to do with it? Right, I need to get iron. Stop. It. Oh no, okay. Eight times, yeah, okay. This rain is so loud. Music and sounds. Weather. Okay. Literally why everyone hates the rain. Okay. Let me check on my chili peppers. Okay. I want to know why this isn't growing. Because I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be growing. Unless it needs to be on like fertilized ground. I don't think so. Oh, you know what? This needs to be next to water probably though. That was mana. Oh, that was close. <laughs> there we are. Boom. Create an iron ingot. Create a bucket. Lava. Okay. How to retro stone age. The latent magics here have some strange effects, if you've already, as you've already seen. Yet none so peculiar as the as the conflict of lava and water. In an even fight, they'll produce an infinite supply of cobblestone as they war. Yet if water gets the advantage and contacts the source of lava, it will turn into hardened obsidian. Okay, so oh, I'm gonna have to make another lava. Okay, four hundred. Oh no, I need to get. <laughs> Never mind. I'm like, I need to get 400 cobblestone. Are you serious? This is gonna take years. Okay, so it's been a while since I've created one of these. I probably should have done a little bit of research before I did a sky block, but you know. Okay, so it's something like. Something like lava. Maybe it, only does, maybe it does require just this. <laughs> I'm actually have to look this up. Okay. Um. Wow, this is so embarrassing. Okay, so it is four blocks. I was right. That the. And I think that needs to be a hole. Then you get your water. I'm gonna be so mad if this turns into obsidian, dude. And lava. Ha! I'm not an idiot! I needed how much? I needed 10. Why? Why does half my cobblestone go in there? That's annoying. Really? Really? Please stop. Beautiful. Okay. One piece of obsidian. So I need to make another piece of lava. To do that, I need more of this. I know it kind of defeats the purpose if uh, I just keep bone milling it, but you know.
Nice. Okay, so we need another source of liquid mana. Boom. And then... Boom. Throw these in here. Light it. On fire. Oh. There we are. Grab this. Okay, so we'll just make a... a obsidian... Kind of thing, Jigger. We'll put it right here. Okay. Then we just get some water. Okay. Then we just mine. Boom, 400 cobblestone. <laughs> okay, we're almost done with saving the world 101. I have a few. I have few regret. Oh wait, I already read that. Um, hmm. I think you've become powerful enough now to have this world fragment partially tethered to your soul. What? <laughs> wait. <laughs> what? Because of this, I can lessen my hold here and divert some of my essence to helping you access other planes of existence. The first of these is the realm known as the Nether. Oh, I don't get obsidian. Okay. Hopefully, opening up this realm of fire will grant you the means to get many new resources. To access the Nether, build a frame of ten or more obsidian, and ignite it to open the gateway. Oh, I have to get obsidian. Oh, at least it gave me some. It gave me six. So I need to get four more regular obsidian. Which means that I need one, two, eight more of these. Boom. Boom. Grab eight more chili powder. Wait, I'm sorry. What? Okay, I was gonna say. Oh, I see, I don't have to hold it. Or do I? I have no idea, dude. Six, seven, one more. Ow. My all those catching things on fire. Okay. Uh, was it? It was water. And. One of those. Oil. Lava. Water. One of those. Lava. Okay. So, my nether portal. It's definitely going to be over here. I'm thinking right here. So, we'll place my one. Mm. Okay. I'll place it here. This also works. So we'll place one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Okay. We 
got one lava source. Let's go get my other lava source. And two lava source. Lava. Obsidian. And then uh, we just need one more. So let me. I'll grab a bucket of water and a bucket of lava. Okay, uh, grabbing my flint and steel, light it on fire. Is it just one more? How did I miscount that? Oh wait, we need a... Uh... There we are. Give me that one. Okay, so why does this seem like a terrible idea? Hmm. Probably because it is. Uh... Okay. We have finished that task. I just need to travel there. Should I just travel there and go back? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> oh. I'm inside. Okay. I'm just gonna kinda dip. There's scary things here. I'm gonna go back. What if it pushes me off to the void? I just realized that. Oh, no, 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 no. I got a molten pickaxe. Nice. I could make more diamonds, actually. Wait, you can climb leaves? That's kind of hype. Okay. So we have. Just these last two, and then we're done with uh, saving the world 101. Hell's Bounty. Oh, God. Okay. We need 10 nether quartz, a gold ingot, and amethyst. Upon visiting the nether, you can start reaping the benefits of the resources held within. Primarily quartz, gold, and amethyst. Cor amethyst. Quartz and amethyst can be har harvested from ores, while gold is, co is coveted by the... Res Res resident zombie pigmen. Otherwise, you can expose silvers, slivers of quartz to liquid mana to transform it into gold. Okay. So slivers of, of quartz. I guess I have to go in there then. Am I ready? No. Here, I'm going to put one of my pickaxes away at least. I uh, will keep this on me. We'll put this away. Um, buckets could be useful. All this stuff should be put away. Um, my wand can't do anything yet. Okay. I don't know if you always spawn another fortress or if I just got really lucky, but. I guess. Let's go ahead and mine some quartz. Oh, it insta smelts. Oh, that's so nice. Oh shoot, okay, it's literally just all the normal mobs. That is a scary sound. It's just me or the sounds like weird. What the heck? Oh, nuh uh. No, 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 no. Sorry, not happening. Are you in the lava? Oh, hi, bye, okay. 
Um, this is scary. I don't want to be here. There is. There's dynamic sounds. That's terrifying, dude. How do you get court slivers? And where's this amethyst nonsense? Ah. How do you get Fort Sliver? Oh shoot. I literally can't see anything. My room got dark. Quartz. Sliver. Just a quartz. Okay. And how did you get it again? It was just one and how many do you need? We need 10 quartz, one gold. Okay, I got more than enough. Um, we can mine the rest, I guess, just because we're here. And this amethyst, where does amethyst spawn? Is that gonna be like deeper or does it matter? What are those, saplings? Why am I not seeing any amethyst? They said amethyst can be found in ores. Okay. I'm wondering if I have to like actually go like lower for it. Maybe it I wish I had more information about it. Amethyst can be harvested by ores. Does it tell you? Hmm. What's this one? 30 netherrack. Well, I can't get that at the moment. 10 soul sand. Okay, I can figure that out. 10 sand and 10 gravel. Okay, the nether is itself constructed of a slew of materials you've not yet encountered before. I think it would be prudent to collect samples of some. Mundane though as they may seem. Some, such as soul sand and basalt, may even have a reaction to liquid mana. Okay, so soul sand can become sand. Basalt can become gravel. So, I need basically 10 basalt or no, yeah, 10 basalt, 20 soul sand, and 30 netherrack. Or I can just mine the 10 gravelets here. There we are. Okay. Got some glitchy as hell lava. I guess let's go mine some basalt, but I am not seeing any amethyst. Is that basalt? That looks like basalt. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Okay, there we go. That should wait. Was basalt what I needed? No, but that's okay. okay. Come on, man. I'm gonna need it. Wait. <gasps> there it is. Okay, is that my pigment, bro? No, 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 no. None of that. Okay. So amethyst does spawn. It's just extremely rare. Why is there a random blaze? Okay, I'm gonna need to find some soul sand too. Uh, where does soul sand even spawn? Just in the nether fortress? Maybe I don't want to go explore the nether fortress though. Okay, you guys are so loud. Can you quiet down? Huh? 
how much amethyst did I need? One. Good. Okay, so I have everything I need for that. I just need to find. I need to. I need to go back and get my other pickaxe. I need to find some soul sand. So let's find some soul sand. I don't even know where soul sand used to spawn before the nether update. I don't remember. <laughs> Is it only in nether fortresses? It might only be in nether fortresses. Okay, let's go back to the portal. Ooh! Ooh! I hear a witch. I don't know what I'm going to need, so I'm just going to take it all. Okay, I do hear a witch. we got to be really careful. I don't have a sword. Well, I do have enough diamonds to make a sword if I wanted to. Okay. Oh, that's where you need to go, but there's a blaze there. Straight to that portal. Okay, I need to fix this waypoint as well. It's driving me nuts. Okay, let's uh, let's get my pickaxe. Hey, my berries grew. That took so long for one berry. I don't remember what those even make. Um, okay, so I need my other pickaxe so we can put diamonds in here. Let's just get my diamond pickaxe. I need to go get 30 netherrack really quick. The nether is very scary. I'm pretty sure we have a whole quest line dedicated to it, I guess. Okay, easy enough. Let's get the uh, down. Okay, let's look at the quest book. Ten nether quartz, one gold, and one amethyst. So, uh, gold slivers of quartz can be turned into. Okay, so I need ten. But I need how much gold? Wait, what? Oh, just one. Okay. So I need nine. Oh, easy enough. Is that it? Is there more I need? Oh, it needs to be in a cauldron. Well, right. Okay. Um. That's fine. Uh, where is my... This stuff? I don't even remember where I got this stuff from, so... Weeba. Okay. One gold. Okay, we got that done. And last but not least, Hell's Constructs. 30 netherrack, 10 soul sand, 10 sand, 10 gravel. Sand can be made by converting soul sand using a cauldron with mana. Okay, so 10 sand. Like 
upgrades. Okay. There we are. Hell's Constructs. That should give us 100 sand, I believe. It didn't, though. Interesting. Yeah, I definitely did not get 100 sand. Um, I'm pretty sure I didn't get something else, too, didn't I? I didn't get... I didn't get 100 iron berries. I don't really care about the iron berries, but I do kind of want the sand. Just in case I need it for something. Because, yeah, I don't. I definitely don't, unless it's like... More around here, but this is why we have commands enabled. Oh wait, did I just get it? Nope. Slash give at p sand one hundred. Nice. Okay. I like that everything stacks like that. It's pretty beautiful. I don't really know if I need this orange rune or not, but it looks like we have completely done saving world one saving the world one hundred and one. Okay. All right, guys, that's all I have for this video. Um, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. If you liked it, leave a like. Tell me what you liked about it in the comments. If you didn't like it, tell me what you didn't like about it in the comments so that I can improve. Um, if you enjoy the content I'm making, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next part. Goodbye.